Hey guys, so today we're doing the Brow Trio. This is a quick one product review. Has this been all over your social media feed? Because it has been on mine. This is a um, brow stencil product and it's called the Brow Trio because three parts to the brow, the front, the arch, and the tail. So front, arch, and tail. And what this whole thing is, is that it's a set of small, medium, and large, and extra large, um, stencils and each set has a low arch a regular arch and a high arch for it so this is what one of the stencils looks like and I have been predominantly using the regular arch XL the way that you figure out what your stencil is going to be is you take what size your stencil is going to be I should say is you take one of these and you put it over the actual eyebrow and you find which one fits best in what you have to work with. So that's kind of what you're doing. And then you take this tool that came with it. I guess I could show you that. This, this is the little stamper sponge. Um, you're supposed to clean it like once a week and it will never ever be 100% clean. I just cleaned this yesterday and then used it yesterday. Sidebar, um, this is the second time I tried to make this video. I've had this product for about a month. I've been playing with it. I wanted to make sure I knew what I was talking about and any little tips and tricks that I could pass along along the way. Um, and one major tip I will give you is to really pay attention to your skincare that you're using under it because yesterday's application, it turned green. And as I was editing the video, I just couldn't handle it. So. Um, make sure that you take time to take a clean Q-tip and just run it over, unless you do your eyebrows first, I mean you do you, but just run it over and kind of clean off the skin where you're going to be applying the brow pomade that you get that comes with it because it definitely had a chemical reaction and that's the first time I've had that happen I think with this product. So this is, like I said, this is the little stamper. You can see that I've got um, shade blonde number three all over it. Think like makeup sponge okay a tiny mini makeup sponge and you're just with the stencil on dabbing back and forth and they say to go heavier on the tail part of your brow and lighter at the um it's literally called the front of your brow why do i always want to say like the head because this is called the tail that's why anyway it comes in this cute little travel pouch it's rubbery with this zipper on it i like that this is the pomade, and I got the shade uh, Blonde number three. I'll show you what that looks like. I've tried this a couple of different ways. So if you forget what shade it is, it actually has the number stamped on there. This is what it looks like, and I've tried it a couple different ways. If you can see the little divot in there, that's by, that is from going in with like a regular brow brush, dabbing in there, and applying it that way. So like if you have little special areas that the pomade is just not clinging to or it's not looking the way that you want or the shape, you need to kind of adjust the shape a little more fine tuned than what you'll be able to do with the spoolie. You can do it with just a regular like brow brush like that too. So we're going to go in and get this on my brows. So let's show you what this looks like. This is the High Arch XL if I didn't already say that. It takes a minute to get it kind of lined up perfectly. Yeah, so I got the little pomade and I'm dipping the applicator in there. I have found that I usually need two layers of this in order to have the look that I want to achieve. But I will show you what it looks like after just one layer as well. So they say to start on the tail of the brow and then work your way in. In some of the demonstration demonstration videos, it almost looks like trying not to have this glare come off of the lights, but there's only so much I can do. It almost looks like they're rubbing it back and forth on their skin. They're not, they're, they're dabbing it. You don't want to do the rubbing. I think that would leave a weird effect. Okay. I'm going to hit it with just a little bit more because it just doesn't look like much was applied. And don't forget, you're, you're going to go through it with the spoolie, too. So don't freak out when you see me pull this away first. Although in their advertisements, it's perfect when they pull it away, of course. 
So I've used this a couple times and been all right with it. It's not a perfect thing like the first time you use it. You definitely need to kind of get the hang of it. And I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, it's not so great today. We're going to go on with that second coat, though, like I said. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see what it looks like with just one versus no product at all. Oh, I hope this isn't turning green again today. Lord, it is hard to wash off for sure. It's definitely a long-lasting product. Okay, second layer. I think what um, is tripping me up is I don't like the way the arch is. I might have come in too far into the middle. Now, what I haven't tried, but I am curious about trying, and I might do it on this eye is using the stencil in one of my kind of tried and true trusted products because I do really like the stencil. Before I go in cleaning this up, I'm going to go in with a brow pencil, right? So it's got a little slight angle on it and I'm gonna get some product on there and you don't need much. And I'm doing this because the front is bothering me. And you don't have a lot of time to move this stuff around before it really starts kind of shellacking down in your brows. You could go in with something that's kind of, um, I don't know, like a pencil or a brow pen and you know, fine tune that way as well. But I only want to use this product for this review <laughs> at least for this brow we're gonna play on the other side with something else that i know usually looks good as far as color oh boy i'm not gonna be able to match color Ooh, it's looking a little green all right so i'm taking a garnier micellar wipe eye makeup remover pad the instructions say that you can clean this just with a tissue no you cannot you do need some kind of liquid cleaner on here to really get this all cleaned up so that you're not, when you use it on the other eye, the opposite side, you're not just spreading product everywhere and making a mess. Two. I have a feeling I'm gonna have green brows today. Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to do the different product because that's going to be wild. I'll try that on a day that I don't have to go anywhere. So my whole initial interest in this is twofold. It's the actual stencil because doing brows can be kind of stressful if you're like psycho about making sure they match. And I don't know that I'm psycho about it, but I do prefer that they match. And then also uh, something that's long lasting. I'll try to zoom in on this this brow this time so that you can see what this process is like. Okay. One layer. Going in with the spoolie, combing it through trying to help kind of point the hairs in the direction I want them to go. Do I have a baluba brows? It's okay, you can tell me. Ding and ding and. Well, let's go in again and do our second layer. <laughs> it's amazing to me that even with a stencil, they can still, your brows can still end up looking different from each other. If you're not holding it at the exact same angle, not applying the same amount of pressure, starting your stamping further in on one side than the other, I think the solution is just not worry about your brows. Okay, so then when you're done using this, you just put it back into the little top and it keeps it from getting really super 
hard on the sponge. I didn't wipe that off and there's chunks of it in the brow, so I need to fix that. And there's, at this point, no going back and changing anything on this side. It's completely hard. If you hear snoring in the background, that is my loving, wonderful senior dog at the top of the stairs behind me. I'm just not 100% sold on this. I just, I'm just not. I'm going to go over it, though, because I do have to leave the house today, and I want to kind of help where the little brow hairs are pointing. So I'm going over it with the um, Benefit 24-hour brow setter. I got a little deluxe sample size and a recent Sephora order. And this is really a watery formula. It's not gel like your typical brow mascara is. So I feel like for something that is very specifically hard setting like this product is, I feel like this works a little bit better over it to set it. Okay, so that's it. I will say, I don't regret buying this because I have a bunch of really good stencils. And when this comes out nice, the stencil shape is on point. Um, I will go in with another time and try one or two different brow products that I know I like the looks of. It may just be the pomade itself that I'm just kind of eh about. They uh, give you a quiz when you go on their website to make a purchase to help you decide which shade is best for you. And if you're a blonde, you know, the, you, I think there was a taupe option or a light blonde or a dark blonde, and I wasn't sure what to choose. Um, and their little process of their little quiz that they have you take to help you determine is not super helpful. And um, when it comes to long lasting stuff, I have to say that I am really enjoying the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Eye Pencil up to 36 hour. That's literally the name on it. I've talked about this in a couple of videos here recently, and this is more of a go-to for me just because it goes on so quick. The application is really good. It's gonna last a long time. I'm just happy with it. I just am. I'm just, just happy with it. So this Nobody is in the world is going to be looking at my brows as much as I am today and giving any little bit of a uh, care over it. So that's it guys, that's the Brow Trio. If you're interested in trying it out, I'll put a link down below. It does come um, with a little instruction card and a little booklet that I have somewhere that has instructions on it as well on how to use and some recommendations that they make to make it uh, waterproof. I, I think it's waterproof without you even having to do anything else above and beyond. It is like, it is not going anywhere. Um, so I like it. I'll play with the stencils, but I'm not a huge fan of the actual pomade. Uh, I'll post some pictures another time, probably over on my Instagram, which is the Wandering Viking. If you are interested in following me there, I'll show you some pictures of what it looks like with varying brow products using the actual stencils. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you decide yes or no as to whether or not you want to try the brow trio that's constantly all over social media anymore. And I will see you in the next quick one product review. Bye.